welcome to part three. We're still in space, actually. Unfortunately, my ship was destroyed before I could engage the transport conduit. I couldn't cause any damage whatsoever. Which was actually very bad, because my ship's probably the one of the best DPSs here. No, nothing wrong with my ally ships, of course. They're all really good ships, but my ship is a very... Look, it chose me as a target. Come on. That's not very nice. Surely those dudes are... Oh, bigger targets. I only just arrived. They're in a whole fleet. I think they're a little more concerning. I would rather engage the fleet than me. Although I suppose you pick off the flagship. I, I, I would hope to see that my uh, allies believe me as the flagship of this fleet. Well, it's not really a fleet, is it? But... Whatever it is. Well, it is a fleet. It's like an armada. A small armada. It's been assembled by Starfleet for special operations. I need to really turn around. Oh, why are you pushing him back? Now, we've caused damage to the gate. And the gate shields are back up. This indicates that we are past this part of the mission almost. And the tactical cube has walked in. The tactical cube fight is quite a large fight. Annoyingly can last for a while. So we're going to be, um, I think I might, I don't know, I think I'm going to pause the video and bring it back on when the cube is done. So I'll see you when the cube is destroyed. Hello, welcome back everybody, I think. Are we back? Are we back? Yes, we're back, we're back. And the cube just got blown up and I took some rather damaging attacks. We're left with just the tank. Just the tactical cube left, so he's like the first boss in this mission. He's a boss, he's got very much health. Almost a million health, actually. And if you look at how much damage my weapons actually do, they're doing hundreds. Which is why this fight takes such an incredibly long time to do. Sometimes, some, some teams I've seen have done it incredibly quick. Most people don't survive an attack. Oh, it's my favourite piece, everyone. Remember my favourite piece? My favourite piece. We're doing damage to his hull. Prepare to engage. Move us around. Position 5, Alpha Plural Niner. Maximum power to rear shields. Prepare to engage. Effect 3, 4, Niner. Yep, loads of that crap. Let's go. Extend our field. Activate a scan. Disable their abilities. This is when I start pulling no holds on my abilities. Prepare to engage the enemy. Enemy is at 96% health. Prepare to engage. Bring her about. Position 9 Alpha Plural Zine. This is when I uh, activate everything I've got. My allies are so good at healing me. They are very good healers here. They know how to help an ally. I've had teams that just don't help. You're like, look, I'm the longest surviving player here and I am in a tactical vessel. My ship is designed for DPS, not health. See, another thing very important about this fight is the right place to put your shields. I mean, if you're being attacked from the rear, don't hesitate to put them to the rear. I mean, especially earlier on when there was enemies everywhere. If you're under attack from one direction, more than any other, don't hesitate to transfer shield strength. You may be weak on your other friends, but at least you're defended from the biggest threat, which is coming from, hopefully, one direction. Okay, now I'm going to call in my little fleet of ships. Oh, that's a very bright light. There we go. Got some more ships to help engage now. So we've got it down to 28. This may be the first time I've ever won this battle without dying. Hopefully I won't speak too soon in saying that. doing everything in my power to make sure I've got full health. I do not want to die. I want to say, well done, I've done it without dying. Actually, I think we might have done this without losing any team members. So now, basically, you just go back and engage the gate and blow it to hell because of how much hell it put you through. Rawr! Take this, you stupid gate! So, yeah, I just got angry at it, shot a lot, and we've done it. We've made it! We made it in three parts, which was pretty successful, I think. The 
gate is destroyed. One mark of valor. Very good time for the music to go on. Is there any rewards to pick up? None that I can see. I accept the transfer. Oh god. I'm wearing a shirt. Yes, I wear shirts casually. <gasps> shock horror! It's horrible, isn't it? Absolute shock horror. I just had the, the thought that I might have had my microphone turned off, which would be a horrible thing. I couldn't have bear to have done all of this. I can't believe it, too. I've actually managed to say, welcome to part one, welcome to part two. This is just amazing. This is a miracle. This video will go down in history as Airshow Connor his first video. <gasps> Look at these uniforms! Look at some of these uniforms! <gasps> Look at his... No, don't like his. <gasps> Look at his uniform. He looks like me! <laughs> Look at his face. He looks like me! Anyway, I wear a uniform based upon... Oh, it's a woman. <whistles> Oops, what? I can't flirt on duty. Geronimo! Geronimo, wasn't that the name of a condom brand? I don't know. Geronimo, I think it was. Got the wrong gun out. Oh, for God's sakes, I don't care where your commanding officer is. We're under attack, we've got Borg over here! Take them out! Take them out! We've got Borg over here! So basically, this is just your initial engagement with the Borg. Could be one of the first time you've ever met the Borg in engagement. I hope not, because they are bloody scary and bloody hard to kill. Basically, if you found any other enemies difficult to kill, you'll find these guys harder. Well, thankfully these guys are below my level by six, but remember that's not the case for every member of this team. You know, this is the first time I've engaged a Borg without being assimilated. Why did I pick that up? It's crap. I'll just sell it to a vendor as vendor crap. Okay, I'll just have to learn. I'm your medic down here. I'm a medic, I've got loads of medic abilities. So you press shift to activate run. Oh god. Now, a big thing to remember about fighting the Borg on this station is you must aim at the disruption nodes. You must destroy that, otherwise you cannot kill the Borg. So it's always an idea to kill it first rather than disabling them and then killing them again, which just takes time. So this team is actually pretty pro here. They are very good, better than I would have hoped. I'm wondering, does this counter show me when it's too big? I don't know, was it different on the first one? I don't know, you guys can see that, but it's not really annoying, is it? Oh my god, what the hell is one of those things? I think I've got one as a pet. Use. Well, I used it and he didn't do anything, so... What happens if I equip it? Equip. That also does nothing. Oh well. Don't rush this room. Look like our officers just did. So. Yeah. I'm afraid we've got no option now but to try and take it out at all costs. See, my, I, what I'm trying to do here is tactically do what Dunn is doing, I think, and trying to take out that inhibitor node. So long as that node is taken out, it doesn't particularly matter about anything else. See, now now the Borg are running, and they're just attacking, and this really isn't what we wanted to happen. Rooted, been rooted. Now, I completed my mission, take it down the node. So now I'm just going to try and get away activate all my medic abilities and now it's my job to alert my team that the probes are the nodes have been destroyed Enemy 
no computer, there are no enemy combatants in close proximity. Now, a good tactic here would have been to... Bad thing to do, people. Oh god. Yeah, there's guys in this corridor. But thankfully, I know that all the nodes were destroyed because I took them out personally. Look, why are we aiming at the big dude when we should be aiming at, like, the little dudes and trying to wipe them out? And then the big dude is less powerful because he's got no little minions to guide him, to assist him in combat. They should all die, though, after, like, pretty much one... Yep, yeah, there we go, he's dead. Now, now these dudes have got the uncanny ability to live through absolutely anything you shoot at them. Okay, that guy's in need of medical assistance. As I said, I'm the medic here on the ground. They killed him. And he's down. Okay, this is the end of part three. I will see you in part four. Goodbye.